Act is often used by individual salespeople who manage their own accounts and contacts. However, Act is suitable for teams and work groups as well. When deploying Act for these situations, you'll probably want to centralize storage in administration by sharing one database. Before sharing a database, ensure that all computers have access to the server, that you're logged in as a Windows administrator, that you have an Act license for each computer that will connect, that all computers are running the same version of ACT, and that your network isn't somehow blocking ACT. To begin sharing, go to the Tools menu, locate Database Maintenance, and choose Share Database. You'll see a confirmation message here. Click Yes to that. And always remember that sharing your database means that you will share certain files associated with your database as well. Once the database is shared, users will need a shortcut in order to access it. The steps here explain how to distribute this shortcut to them. It's usually as simple as placing the ACT shortcut file, also called the PAD file, into a shared location on your network. First, you need to access this file on your server or main computer so that you can share it with others. To locate this file, click the Access the Database PAD file link. This will take you to the location of the PAD file that you need to share. By default, this file is placed in the Database Files folder, which ACT shares for you, but you can use any location you choose. Back in ACT, click OK. Once this file is made available, other users can simply double-click it to launch this shared database within ACT. Your remote users can log in and begin using ACT. ACT supports teams and groups by allowing a central database to be shared. In this environment, all team members have direct and real-time access to the same data. As a result, ACT makes sales teams and administrators more productive. <laughs>